Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Beast Mode Smooth. Bride regrets leaving groom after secret comes out. Let's check out this secret. Please take a subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Ask you that. Ciao. It's Child Time. Okay, you got to understand women are always in competition with each other. Let's go mm -hmm. ahead and get into it. So take a look. So, long story short, uh, I was a runaway bride, essentially. Oh, um, you left him at the altar? Yeah. Uh, well, my Harry, she was like a, like a permanent third wheel. Like, she would always hang out with us. She was like the R plus one when we went to a fit. Okay. And um, so, like, the night before my wedding, she, she, like, sat me down. She's like, I can't let you, I can't let you walk down the aisle. And I was like, why? And she was like, he's been cheating on you. And I was like, what? Oh. And I started crying. And it was like this whole thing. And I was like, how could this happen? Like, why did you come before? So I, I called my mom and she was like, you got to get out of there. Like, um, she got me a plane ticket right away and I left him there. Oh, oh so my the God. next morning, wow. everybody's getting every. It's like you didn't even ask any questions, no evidence or anything. Women just took her word for it and just left. Isn't that crazy? Keeping ready for the wedding and you were not operated. There nowhere to be seen so and this was all in the tampa area yeah yeah wow and now you're here yeah. in charlotte and, and how how long has it been by the way since all this happened 12 years wow Ooh. okay uh, so you want to shoot a shot with the man that you left at the altar well it turns out carrie actually wanted to be with patrick oh wait so she and lied that, to you yeah about that yeah Yep. What kind of drama are you living in? This is insane. All right, so the next clip here is her calling the guy after 12 years and pretty much asking for a second chance. Take a look. All right, Patrick, the person that wants to shoot their shot with you will do so now. Hi, Patrick. Okay. This, um, th how are you? I um, haven't talked to you in a very long time, and I know that I left you on the altar. Hey, Audrey. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. I, I cannot believe this is happening. I mean, I haven't talked to you in over like 10 years, 12. And um, I mean, you, you, you literally broke my heart. I know. Like, I mean, how, how I was mortified. I was literally mortified. I'm standing in front of all my family. Poor man spent all that money, all that time and effort to look like a fool in front of everyone he loves and cares about. Ouch. I mean, friends, by myself, staring at nobody. And I know. It was literally, literally the most mortifying thing I've ever experienced in my, in my life. Dude, I'm getting like chills and goosebumps listening to this man, like trying to like explain himself. You don't have to, brother. Like you were... You were probably at your lowest of lows. That's where you hit rock bottom right there, brother. Yeah, I love you. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I mean, you know, like no warning, nothing. I mean, if you were, if, if you were unsure of getting married to me for any reason, you I should wasn't, call me. I we wasn't. We should talk about it. Carrie told then me you that left. you were cheating on me. Okay, well, that's not true. Um, I don't know why she would say that. I, I mean... I have, I, I, I don't, but even if you should have spoken to me, like, regardless, I mean, my heart was literally broken. I mean, I, you have long, I'm still not rebounded. I, I, I gave you my heart on my sleeve and you ripped it and you, you teared it apart. And now my trust is, I, and you stomped all over it. Oh my God. These two's reaction are just like my reaction right now. I'm just like jaw drop, like. Holy fuck. I have trust issues now with anyone. I, for the last 12 years, I've been, I've been trying so hard to move on. And you literally, literally destroyed me. Literally. Poor man, dude. With no call. I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing from you in 12 years. Jeez. Do you understand? I'm, yeah. I've not spoken to you in 12 years. You just literally vanished. Okay, hold Who on. Who does that? Okay, I'm gonna, I know. I, I'm gonna step in real quick here. So we knew this was gonna be very complicated and this was not going to be easy. And obviously right now, Patrick, you are hurt 
and you are understandably so literally holly's in tears over here right now um before we continue with anything else because obviously this isn't going to be the connection we thought it would be you need to process your emotions because now it's digging everything up patrick would you want us to give uh aubrey your number so you two can talk when you feel comfortable I mean, like, she was the, my, the girl in my, in my dream. Fuck. As much as I feel for the man and, like, him, like, I can, I can tell he's crying. Like, you can tell he's, this man is tearing up. This man did not get over this woman, did not get over this breakup. Sometimes, as much as we want to tell ourselves to be strong, to be, you know, to cut, just get over some of these things. Some of these things are very devastating and it's very hard for people to get over. To tell the truth, I'm still processing like my mother's death. I don't even really know if I processed it or not, to tell you the truth. So just to, to, to be left at an altar after you, like the man said, he put, he put his heart out there. He, he did the things that he should have done. And 12 years later, he still is has so many unanswered questions for himself you know and it's so devastating that i think some people would look at this especially some people in the red pill space and just kind of make fun of the man for kind of tearing up and still being hung up on a woman after 12 years i think we kind of need to to, to look into ourselves a little bit more about these issues um, yeah, I mean, if she wants to like talk to me, it's fine. It's just I just I've not spoken to her in like twelve years, and it's just, like it's so. I mean, I uh, if you want, if we can definitely take you know if everything very slowly. I'm very very. <sighs> this is one thing I would suggest to this brother: leave it alone. She's done this for you already. The likelihood of her fucking you over again is going to be so high, bro. If this man is watching any of our podcasts, we need to tell him to step away and just walk away and just get over it. I know it's not easy, but this isn't the way to go. Protective of my feelings now, my heart. So, I mean, I, you, you, yeah, you, I, I will, if you want, like. You don't have to answer now. You don't have to answer now. You do not have to answer now. She is not there for the right reasons. Okay. She's she is not. only there because she's ran out of options. All right, mm -hmm. guys, so let's check out some of these comments. First commenter says, this is how villains are made. This man just got set back decades. All right, so next commenter says, he's obviously still in love with her. Maybe meeting her would bring some closure because she's not going to be the same person. Next. Nah, fuck closure sometimes. You know, I didn't get closure for a lot of things. Sometimes I don't think it's worth it to go through to get that closure. It really isn't. Commenter says, don't do it, bro. Walk away. I Next commenter says, dude, learn nothing. She went out doing what she wanted and left you on red. Now she wants to settle down. She belongs to the streets. Next commenter says, she doesn't respect you and she doesn't care. What are you doing talking to her? Next Agreed. commenter says, he should have said no. That girl is going to use him up even more. All right. So next commenter says, I'd reconnect with her, make it a dream and realize what she missed all these years. Propose and plan the wedding and leave her at the altar. I don't think this man has the balls or the gumption to do what this man is suggesting. This man is still, like the last comment said, <laughs> madly in love with her. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Go ahead and provide me some feedback. And until next time. Shoutouts to Beast Mode Smooth. My heart goes out for the men out there that go through shit like this. Some of us are not strong enough to get over it. Some of us are. And I don't think we should be looking down on men too harshly that it takes them a little bit longer to get over some of these things. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time.